I'm a little overwhelmed, really. Congressman-elect Tim Burchett is one of many lawmakers who will be sworn in to office today in the nation's capital. Burchett is a former state lawmaker and Knox County mayor. 10 News anchor John Becker is following him today in his swearing in and was with him last night when he saw his new office for the first time. This is the Longworth office building in Washington. It's a busy place right now, but let's rewind the clock a few hours and take you back to the moment Congressman Tim Burchett saw his office for the first time with his daughter, Isabel. You guys doing all right? Good. How are you doing, Isabel? It's kind of neat. You just saw this. Wow. What do you think? I don't know what to think. Dude, I'm a little overwhelmed, really. Congressman elect Burchett's office. Hi, thank you. We think, Michael. First call. Something else. <laughs> well, it's not definitely not our first call. We had three or four uh, throughout the day today. So, but this first one I answered. So, welcome to Congress. Door frame, no door for the bathroom. Yeah. It's all right. We'll get a curtain for it tomorrow. Well, we're going to let you go, but now we're just, good, really. Thank your, you. Your first impressions, uh, is it sinking in? No, it's just surreal, man. I mean, this is just, I don't know what to tell you. What do you think, babe? I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's a good answer. It's a lot. What do you think uh, uh, mom and dad might think of this moment? Not about them today, man, driving in. They'd be very happy, I think. I think they are very happy. This is the view outside the freshman congressman's office. Not the greatest, he calls it the Shawshank Redemption Courtyard, an ode to that movie. There aren't even any trash cans in the office yet. But here's the good news. If you're one of his 740,000 constituents, the lines to his office are the same as former congressman Jimmy Duncan's. More of our reporting to come from Washington, D.C. I'm John Becker. For now, back to you. Thank you, John.